It's finally here, y'all. It's finally fucking here. First of all, it's your boy Magic Montana, the Magic Gamer, Money Shot Montana, and it's here, y'all. They finally reviewed Zombies on Call of Duty NXT. This is happening live right now, but I had to go ahead and, and set up the lights, camera, actually. Okay. Oh, this fucking has zombies, baby. Zombies is here. Okay, without further ado, we finna get right into it, bro. Let's get right into it. All that in store very, very soon. But now, though, friends, it's time for something quite different. Straight from our friends at Treyarch, here is a look. At modern warfare zombies. One of our patrols reported hostile contact. Then they stuck in the water. Then went dark. <laughs> They got different level big crazy ass zombie creatures and shit. The situation is dynamic and evolving. There are other friendly assets on the ground. Join forces to take out those threats. The fucking dogs. That that look like the cloud open world zombies, G. That looks like the cloud. The high threat zone. Please let this be like the DMZ, bro. Oh, my God, boss fights. Operation Deadbolt. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. The Soul Harvester weapon. Come on, man. You just got a sneak. Come on, man. Of the Soul Harvester weapon blueprint. More on that. Don't nobody give a damn about that Soul Harvester, man. Special guest from Treyarch because he got Kevin Drew as well as Miles Leslie. Kevin is the Ooh! creative director. Uh, welcome to the both of y'all. And it is so exciting to talk about some zombies. Oh, yes, let's talk about it. It looks awesome in here. We just swapped over to, to a little undead purple yeah. in the back. When I think of the undead, I think the, the ambiance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, MWZ, is that a whole? It really does something for me. But guys, earlier this week, we held an event at Treyarch. We were able to bring a couple of different groups of creators. Who were oh my God. Next into Treyarch. First time you guys have had folks in the studio. Yes. For a long time, it was super exciting. We want to talk oh. about the event and some of the awesome reactions we got to see in the room from these guys. Yeah, no, it was a great experience. Zombies is a ill. Look at the comment, Myth Boy. Is look. Something that is a mode based on exploration, discovery, but we felt like there's so much new here. We really wanted to get a, a group in there and play it, get hands on, get impressions, get feedback, and we just had a really great time playing with them. You're yeah. getting to see a couple of of the reactions in the room. There, they got to see some some footage they got some play time the, the guys play, answered the, about some yeah. questions yeah, okay. <laughs> the play test so was absolutely fantastic there were so many awesome moments it it, yeah. it felt it just felt right getting them into play well i was yeah. gonna ask like as you know having 
been in the lab making this for so long, right? And then getting people to see it. And, and oh what you guys God. said before, I remember you guys mentioning that it's not a thing you do often, no. bringing people into yeah. the studio. So that must have been a very, like, almost uh, revealing experience for you guys. It oh, right? it, yeah, it felt very good getting outside people besides us playing it. Yeah. Like, so you're like, oh, a wait a minute, this yeah. game is good. Yeah. 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 This is super fun. You know? yeah. so. It's like, we were right. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. <laughs> um, guys, one of the most popular questions I, I noticed, you know, ripe amongst amongst the crowd of, of creators that was their Easter eggs. We uh, love, we know them, we love them. We people want them are zombies. bitching in these comments Why about the zombies having us, armor. Uh, they are soldiers. They got infected. I mean, Y'all some boy, shut something. the we fuck up. What should we expect? So if you if you were paying there. attention to that trailer you just saw for the first time, okay, maybe at the end, if you go back and scrub it, you might see something that you'll see that's kind of big. Now, I don't want to give it all away. There's a lot to discover in this open world zombies. Oh yeah, and and I think that is gonna lead perfectly uh, to my question, which is with so much that needs to be unpacked here. I guess you know what I'm curious about is like what are the key things that you want the community to know about this iteration of zombies? The differences potentially from you know the previous game till this one because you guys are you guys are having some fun with it yeah, out there. Absolutely, I mean it's a mo based on our experimentation and we're really doing that here. This is taking our gameplay, our classic zombies gameplay and mechanics and putting them on the big map and all of the experiences that offers with vehicles and the vast space and the higher player count. And then on top of that, putting it in the modern warfare era where you have their equipment, the operators, and it just feels so badass, you know? And it's it's in this massive open world co-op experience. So that, that's something that feels exciting. It feels different. Kind of what led you guys to, 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 to design, you know, Modern Warfare Zombies the way that you did in this in this big new way. So we just saw an opportunity with the big map to have the biggest PVE experience we've ever had in the franchise. So yeah. Which in is the past, yeah, we had pure, <laughs> like pure yeah. PVE. Yes, pure PVE, yeah. no PVP. You're you're safe here, and there's you know we usually have <laughs> four kind players. Of. Kind, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Kind, you know, okay, hold on. So it's no <laughs> PVP. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, then you mentioned uh, like the way that the game is played, the open world. But how do the players like interact uh, with one another in that world? Because and, and also like you know I like running solo from time to time. Is that also something that's possible as well? Absolutely. So it's 24 <laughs> players total. You can go in solo. You can go in with your squad. But what's awesome is that you're all on the same team trying to do the same thing. So when you're out in the world, you'll run into other squads or other players. You can make a decision in that moment to like combine and form a super squad oh, so you can form a super team oh, yeah. yes like oh, yeah. in-game form a super yes. team yeah oh yeah. that's cool and that's eight squads of three you can group yeah. up together you can go lone wolf it i don't know if i'd recommend that guys from what i mean you, experience it, players it, if you if you want a challenge you can go in solo but it is a lot of fun to grab some friends form those super squads mm. yeah and again the map is massive there's zombies everywhere there's other surprises we're everywhere. Gonna yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. I'm getting excited. <laughs> and so uh, a couple weeks ago, we saw the very first look at Modern Warfare Zombies in the cinematic that we released, which really sets the stage for the narrative of Modern Warfare Zombies in that we, we see Soap, we see Laswell, and more importantly, we saw someone who I didn't think we were gonna yeah, see again. that's right. Miles, can you take us through What's, What's going, going on? on? What's going on here? What's going yeah, on? hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. So, you know, that opportunity that Kevin talked about is there's a few questions when people saw that. You look like a skinny, you fat Joe. Watch it. It's awesome. Is hold on a second. Where are we in time and place? Uh, we are between Modern Warfare 19 and MW22, the year 2021. And that's really important to the story because in true Treyarch Zombies fashion, we are always jumping eras, jumping moments and really touching different timelines in interesting <laughs> ways. I can't go into all of it, but there's a reason for that. Now, the next question which you're hinting to is, why is Zakayev alive? I saw him die, but did you? Did oh. you really? I saw was him get shot. I saw him fall down a yeah, missile well, silo. You saw him fall. There was blood, but in true sort of story fashion, if there's no body, he's not dead. Now, Task Force 1401 went back to that silo. <laughs> there was water at the bottom. It had been drained, lots of blood. Zakaya was gone. Now, officially declared deceased, Ooh. but then whispers emerge that he's still alive. And now, of course, in true sort of villain fashion, he starts to hear whispers himself as he's recovering from falling down that silo, which he did. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts a little bit. Yep. Is about this new thing called Ethereum. 
and mm. he wants to get it. And that really sets the stage. All of that, by the way, is day one getting in the door like you saw in the cinematic, which is that's the start of the story. And players are going to experience this story just in really interesting ways. So it's a flashback. It's canon. We've got worlds colliding. Yes with Cold War, with Modern Warfare. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But the story really progresses in a new and interesting way. Let's take a look at how these come to life in the intro mission. Ooh, yes, man. yes. Oh, man. Your objective is a roof-mounted comms tower. Mark a location on tag map. Once tower is active, use decryption key from Johnson's tablet to establish comms. So you got missions now. It's not just rounds. It's mission based. This shit is World War Z. What the fuck? Oh my god. Well, you got here quicker than expected. I still need a minute or two. I'm in the middle of erasing my research from the Terminus database. Protect Dr. Jensen. We need her alive. So these are soldiers and fucking... Oh my god. So what you just saw there was just a little snippet of that story mission intro and what's really exciting again about this opportunity across the open world is like Kevin was saying is we want to bring that story to the forefront. These story missions have handlers from the modern warfare world, from the black ops world, cold war world that you might see some new friends along the way as well and they're going to help you on this story and these missions that take you across DMZ the with zombies the what the fuck we want it w yes again, the whole point of this is that if you're new to being a zombies player we want you to experience that story we want you to get into it but if you're seasoned and you just want to jump in and kill some zombies yeah you can free roam and do that and then jump to the story later we really have embraced that open world sort of feeling across this and that's really the exciting thing is uh it kind of pick your poison that player facing in that sense modern yeah. warfare 3 is about options absolutely yes. yeah it's it's becoming more and more you know prevalent to me as i'm see hearing you guys talk about this like throughout the day uh super awesome and, and this shit look that, like, man look their choice is very prevalent right uh but you know what they're Zombies has been a mode that's uh, been in the game for such a Fish, long time. Fish, I it, oh man. It runs side by side, parallel to, to Call of Duty and its incredible legacy. But there are still players that are going to be new to this, that are coming into this with a fresh set of eyes for the first time ever. What's in store for them? Because, you know, th this could be a little jarring, right? There's a lot of stuff going on over here. Absolutely. So zombies can be pretty intimidating. And we know that there might be a lot of players who might might only play Modern Warfare, or DMZ, or Warzone. So we've built this mode to make sure that they can have success and have fun and also support our, our veteran audience. So and on a brand new... And a brand new map. Yeah. We'll talk about yeah. that more later. Not later. <laughs> but here, for this mode, we've broken it down into three tiers of difficulty. So you're going to infill on the outer edges, and this is kind of like lower-level difficulty. And new players can really hang out here for the duration of a match and have a great time. But... Our advanced players are going to want to try to get into the mm, center. Okay, so it's match-based. As as That's where Zakaya threw that vial and started this entire incursion. What an arm on him. Yeah. yeah no. i got to say. Yeah. He yeeted the vial. Yeah. Now, we have a, now we have a hot yeah. zone. Yep. And now we have to pay Hate for to it. See it. All right. Yeah. Well, then let's, let's okay. look at the flip side of that one, though, right? Because we talked about the new players, how we get the... Okay. So what I'm hearing, uh, the, the only thing so far is fucking everything i wanted so far the only thing that i'm that i'm not really fucking with is is time based but i don't know how that time is going to go how they go and implement the time based thing if they do it with you got a certain amount of time to exfil before shit get over real kind of like how the smoke clears in that's one thing but if it's like 
those folks into the game. I don't know. And have them playing something let, let me see. their comfort zone, so totally. to speak. But one thing that we know is that there are four Zombies fans that love this experience, live and breathe it. So what's, what do you have for them? Yeah, absolutely. When you talk about oh that fusion, God. and like Kevin said, the experimentation was, well, how do you bring all those core zombie Treyarch features into this new world? And we've done just that. You can see we've got the mystery box. We've got wall buys. Uh, we've got the pack-a-punch, the pat machine. All of these things are spread out across this ginormous map. And as you go in, it's up to you. Where do you want to where do you want to buy them? How do yeah. you want to accumulate your really your arsenal and your loadout? How do you want to tackle this world? But those zombies features are super key uh, to making this feel fresh and really an evolution of that sort of open world feel uh, as you get more powerful. And again, it's fused with the modern warfare DMZ feeling as well as buy stations as well. Hmm. So features streaks. that you yeah, recognize if you, if from experiences which, in other modes. hundred percent, which you may not have had in other zombies. So that's where you really have married them together in interesting ways. But it's awesome. The most important core feature, of course. It's oh. a sweet new feature, folks. What? It's our cereal. <laughs> you can't find this in the map. I wish you could. Yeah. I don't mind getting a damn about that cereal. Here, Call of Duty next. It has yeah. um, some awesome features. It's got a UV yeah. light. It's, uh, out, it's, alternate, out, it's outrageous. I may cover. or may not have taken a box of oh, those. Oh, yeah. Already. I've yeah. stolen this. I mean, this a crate. I'm not talking yeah. about a single box. I'm yeah. talking about oh, a single crate. Oh, well. what, what came off the truck? Yeah. You know? Oh, my God, so bro. Uh, off limits yes. cereal for making this with the box bespoke for Modern Warfare 3 zombies. And it's a woman owned business, which is dope. Awesome. And it goes clang, bang. Yeah. Uh, so I would be remiss to to not hit on one of the really core features uh, for our zombie oh, players, yes. and that's the wonder weapon, oh, guys. Yes. I need to I need to know. Yeah. So of course we have a wonder weapon, and it has been custom made again for this open world experience. It is oh, the boy. scorcher. Oh my word! I'm what gonna let you just look at it for that first raise. Yes. It's that thing is huge. It's absolutely amazing. So the scorcher again is built for demolishing. The highest density of zombies like you've ever targets. seen. The hordes. Oh yeah, the <laughs> hordes. Melt hordes. Absolutely. And then on top of that, it's got an alt fire that launches you into the air so that you can use it to engage. If you want to jump into a horde, if you want to get away from the horde of zombies, if you want to jump on a building or over a building, like it's wow. really so you can like rocket jump oh, with it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's it's once you get into like basically the flow state of using it and it's in your arsenal. It's There's chef, no limit. Chef's kiss. Okay. Chef's kiss. Chef's wonder kiss weapon. For your, like, scorcher. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, part of what being zombie is so special, especially with this new open world field, is is the replayability. Is is this? It's not a one and done game mode. So how is Modern Warfare 3 Zombies gonna gonna push that forward and take the next step in terms of what keeps players coming back for more every time? Yeah. So this is a really Kind of a replayable mode it's an and it's an extraction uh exfil mode right so you're trying to get deeper and deeper into the map and at first it's you're not going to be that successful you're going to have to play a lot over and over gain mastery try to take things out make sure you successfully exfil so you can come back in the next yep game with hit the ground running with the right stuff yeah and you talked to me we, we mentioned it before we saw zakayev heat the vial in the cinematic that has created the incursion zone, that super hot area we saw a little bit of attack map. Fucking yes! About how um, you know the storm will will play into the map, what that vial did, and what the gameplay you know repercussions are going to be for the right. player there. <laughs> yeah. So this thing is in the in the map, and it's the source. It's spreading the dark aethers. So it will always be there in the map. It's going to dictate this time limit. At, at 45 minutes, it's going to start growing and completely consuming oh, the map, and that's where you need oh, to yeah. get out. Yeah. Um, and a lot of zombies. <laughs> and it gets really, yeah, intense. It's, so it's a total one hour session. Limit. Yeah, yeah, one out, one hour session. Again, those 24 it, it, players. It, it, go, it goes back to getting in, you know, again, player pacing. You want to stay on the outer edges. Awesome. You want to challenge. Yeah, it's, it's up. Medium and high threat. But the ether storm waits for no one. Nope. And it will come and it will make the zombies hard. Yeah. And that's part of the challenge and fun is, are we going into the storm to cleanse it? Yeah. Are we avoiding it? What are we going to yeah. find in the there? What's the hell out of Dodge? Yeah. What are we yeah. doing here? What are we yeah. doing here? Is, is really where you get into a lot of fun. And and really, too, when you think about that that heat map for zombies, part of that is going to be gearing up. You said you're spending, you know, a lot of players will be spending a lot of time on the outer edges of the map or in the yellow. Yeah. Gearing up, getting that loot, collecting the right things that we need to have a, a successful infill. 
But one of the most exciting things about that is how weapons will carry over from match to match. Yeah, so if you're familiar with DMZ, we have contraband weapons, so everything you're you're finding in the match, you can take out and bring it with you. We Item have, persistence. Yes, yeah. we have yeah, insurance okay. slots, but we've really taken that to the next level with all the zombies upgrades. So, you know, in the past, you've had to do all that just in-game, you lose it. Now, all of those things have been formed into a consumable version called acquisition. So things like Pack-A-Punch, a weapon rarity, ammo mods, wonder weapons. Yeah. All of those things you can find in the match and you can decide to use them then, or you can take them out and just start the next match, load up, it's pack a punch, hot. drink yes. four perks immediately, and now you're good to go. Like you're going all the way Stra into the high throw. So Straight into the red zone, juiced up on perks, right? Yeah. Quite, got a, your quite a difference, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. but, but what was the, I guess, like inspiration? It's, it was just, it's hey, up. let's just try it's something up. creative, different, fun. Do what zombies has always yeah. done and push the bar. Yeah, it's just like introducing this different kind of pressure with the time limit, yeah. but then now giving players this additional ability to bring things in is huge. Yeah, it's Boy, it is. part of that, how do you make new players and season players, right? It kind of relates to rounds, if you're familiar from that, is is like when you get into the higher zones and you have more of that arsenal, that's for those seasoned they're players. Gonna they're going to feel it, and they're going to want that challenge. Well, you know what? There's a big challenge there, so you better be loaded up on a bunch of stuff coming in to really succeed. All right, we're getting into oh the lightning my God. round here. Finally, Miles. I asked you before, you said that Zombies is all about discovery, and it is. We know those secrets, those Easter eggs are out there lurk, lurking. Yeah, I the pre ordered my shit. But of all the secrets, it's up. again, oh. I'm going to pressure you. You're going back oh, to the well here, Steph. Come what on. can you tell us? I, I just pre I just pre ordered mine. I need I that. I can't get into all of the secrets. I want to, but the team would kill me. There's a lot in there. But we want people to find it. We do want them to find it, but we have, again, taken advantage of this map. There's a lot there on day one for Discover. We love watching the community find these things. That is part of, of the fun. Uh, so we don't want to spoil any of it, but there's a lot in there, and we're already planning some fun stuff to come later as well. well so look, more coming. You're not getting it out of us. You know what? Steph, Steph might be trying to dig deep. I will never do that, <laughs> ever, ever in a million years. But what can you guys tell me about the monsters? <laughs> what do you, you tell us about all the monsters that we have coming up here? Because there seems like there's some wild ones that are going to be... Uh, oh, really my scary. God. We have a full gambit. It starts with just our zombies. We have more zombies than we've ever seen before in one space. They completely fill up this map. Anywhere you go, there's going to be danger. But then we have all of our other awesome enemies. So Hellhound, our Mimic who can disguise himself as a, a cash in the map, so you have to be careful. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Disciple, he oh, buffs. that was me this morning. <laughs> just waking <laughs> up. <Free> coffee. <laughs> Buffing zombies and life draining the Mangler with his ca cannon and ranged attacks. So just a, all sorts of threats. But the Mega Abomination, <laughs> he's about three times bigger oh. than we last saw him. Oh. He's yeah, because so he needed now. to be bigger. Yeah, he's <laughs> now thrown some crawlers under his stomach. Oh, fun. They, the dingle dangles. He can't fit in buildings yeah. anymore. He's so big. So he needs those guys to the, the go still inside. Gets you and, in the oh, building. Oh, but this wow. is when you talk about like that opportunity of open world is, okay, you think you're going to be safe. I'm going to run inside. No, absolutely not. The abomination will send in these little creatures and they will try to explode and flush you out. So really, it's do you want to die by the lasers outside or do you want to die by these zombie explosions? <laughs> Again, it's up to you. Your choice. <laughs> it's your choice. Choose your own adventure. That's right. Uh, but perhaps more terrifying than monsters even for the first time. Uh, <laughs> there right. are humans yes. in zombies they as well. Right! Humans all along. <laughs> <laughs> so this enemy... Uh, PMC group. Yeah, absolutely. Is, is in the world. That's another, you know, again, important to the story when you go back to Sakaev and this Terminus Outcomes PMC group. They're his muscle that he's hired. They found that Ethereum. They want more in true sort of bad guy fashion. And they are across the map. So for the first time, you're going to be able to, if you want, fight these AI. There's gameplay loop tied to them where there's a progression on that side. What? Uh, and you can run into them. You can avoid them if you want. If you just want to chill out and shoot zombies all day, that's great. You want to mix it, that's cool. Or, or the coolest thing is to take a horde of zombies. And Kevin loves to say it's like a hornet's nest, which it is. Is You shoot a few, you get a big horde of them. They're upset. And you basically train them. Right yep. To the oh, that's cool. What yeah. I said. It's, it's what I fucking said. Yes. You will be able to yes. use them as attack dogs. Team zombies and just you just kind of sneak by as they're causing all the carnage, so you can loot, get what you need, and get out. But it's it's really just I, I can't express the moment when you unleash your own zombie horde on the human AI. 
it's really the only thing that we awesome. missing I can't wait. is that we can't well, it's not it's no pvp which i guess it might be a little too much earlier. But in a couple of minutes, Lottie's going to give you all the details on the Soul Harvester weapon blueprint. Stay tuned. It, that thing is absolutely absurd. It's 100% something oh you my God. see in zombies day one. Uh, but I have some other news. Oh. We got a little taste of that big map that you guys keep oh, yeah. talking about. I am excited to announce that the big map you saw here teased in Modern Warfare Zombies was actually your very first look at the brand new map coming to Warzone. We're deep diving into Battle Royale coming next. Oh boy. Oh my Me god. Too. Awesome stuff. Uh, first oh my thing, god. I want to thank you guys so much for your time. Your passion. Oh my infectious. god. Your love for this is truly uh, it's inspirational, and, and and I'm excited to try I, it. I, I wish awesome. we could stay and talk about it. Yes. I, I think you we could draw yeah. your self portrait. I know. Well, <laughs> Kevin Oh so my god. I think we could talk about this all we'll be day. Debuting later. It's going to be awesome. I'm sure everyone's so Thanks excited to us. jump into yeah. zombies. Yeah, and thank you guys so much for sharing that love for this. And oh my god. Up our modern warfare zombies portion of this uh, show here, but next up it's Warzone with live Warzone gameplay and new map details are going to be coming your way but first a quick word from our sponsors oh call of duty next brought to you by hyper x oh my lord peripheral partner of oh it's duty. everything that i wanted everything i needed that why like a pro on the big screen oh my god up to yes the official yes that is what the oh my god listen limited edition watch cola I'm risking my damn job right now for this shit. I had to see this, and I caught it right on time, bro. As much as I love the DMZ, we gonna be run DMZ. But the zombies? Stop it. Stop it. Zombies, where do we start? Oh my god. I mean, it's what? We've got the spiritual success. Oh my goodness, bro. We've got everything we know and love about zombies. And a big it's everything I've uh, everything that I hoped map. it would be. Did you notice at home? Is everything I thought it was gonna be. That's the sort of map I could see hundred Everything and I can't wait. I pre ordered my shit today. Um, so oh it's up. Right it's very, up uh, and it's still. It looks sick. It looks fun. I mean I cannot. Oh wait. my god. I'm so I damn excited is, about that. It's almost like a gateway for others I'm, I'm, never played zombies. Ooh, my lord. It, it's war zone type of style. You have also I can't wait y'all like when i tell y'all i can't wait uh, if zombies wasn't hard enough but just, Ooh, Lord. there is something for everybody in this zombie Ooh, scene Lord. it's so fun i actually you know could see yeah it is it's going up players in the cdl reacting to zombies all right man all right our good buddy sim is already tweeting about it saying zombies look sick it does look sick sim. you're absolutely right but yeah Ali, i mean this is like we're gonna pull up as a oh my god all of our look, look at this balls. shit got my, my green screen all, all beat up and then we can get absolutely into the action and play around with the zombies absolutely let me know what y'all think in the comments man i'm 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 i'm, I'm thirsty for this the really difficult hordes as we head towards the center and it kind of i'm, I'm thirsty, thirsty for this man i'm, kind of I'm not gonna lie y'all like, i can't wait they, I, I went ahead and made that little pre-order today y'all I, I couldn't you know i couldn't let it slide man really i couldn't let it go away no longer man i had to get my i had to get me me yeah man you can get all the perks i'll get a crazy weapon it's another crazy weapon and then until next time man Ooh. Amazing, man. And those monsters were Magic Montana out, so man. Passionate talking about how it